Hi, my name is Scott from Wild Rock and I'd like to talk about commuting by bike this winter. The last census told us in Peterborough our average commute was less than 5 kilometers, 4.4 kilometers. So half of us are commuting less than that, half of us are commuting more. I'd like to talk to 50% of us who are doing short commutes right now. A short commute makes it really approachable by bike. We don't have to get into fancy equipment. We don't have to get into fancy bikes and clothing. You might have a lot of this in your own closet right now. And if not, I'm gonna show you the needs. So first thing for sure, I just wear my normal boots that I'd wear if I were commuting in the car. It's gonna be slushy out. I want them a little higher and probably waterproof. You probably have something like this in your closet right now. That's all I'm wearing for my, my couple kilometer commute. We want a pair of windproof gloves. Most of our commutes, it's probably plus five to minus 10 in Peterborough. We'll talk about cold weather in a little bit. We want a windproof or waterproof jacket in case uh, it's wet out and to break that wind because of course we're going faster than we would walking and the same thing with pants. We want a waterproof pair of pants. I look for pants and a jacket that'll fit right over my work clothing. So there's no need to go wander off to a washroom room or need a change room when you get to work. Our commute is short, so we're not that sweaty. And we're just pulling this clothing off and putting it aside for the day. As it gets colder, we're gonna amp this up a little bit for sure. I would bring in my full winter boots. Um, important that they're totally waterproof and important that they have a little clip or some laces so I can uh, affix my pants to there so we don't get a breeze or slush up our pant legs. I would add a buff or something to cover my face and nose so the, the cold wind doesn't bother us too much. And then I would add a set of clear sunglasses. Uh, if it is minus 18 out and you're riding to work, even if it's three or four K, your face is gonna be much more comfortable with a pair of clear sunglasses. Some people will even wear goggles uh, to keep their eyes nice and safe. The other key feature is a balaclava. Good old balaclava, you might be using it for snow blowing or skidooing, but it fits underneath your helmet because it's important to find hats and headwear that is gonna fit underneath whatever helmet you're wearing. So thin hats that are windproof or a balaclava. When it gets colder, we're gonna to have to look at different gloves. Gloves like this are great when it's minus five, but when it gets down to minus 18, minus 20, you're gonna need something warmer. You're gonna go for a full gauntlet style glove or a lobster glove. I really like lobster gloves because they give you the freedom and control and dexterity to use your brakes, use your shifters, but with some of the added warmth of a mitt. And you'll see these are a big over glove that are gonna go right over your sleeves so no drafts up your sleeves. This isn't the next level stuff for those who are gonna persevere uh, in commuting when it's minus 10 to minus 20. Finally, one of the key features to keeping you comfortable on your winter commute is not what you're wearing, but what your bike is wearing. And that's where we get into fenders. Fenders are super key. They not only stop you from getting that big strip up your back, but they keep your feet dry. That front fender, if it goes down low and is long, does an amazing job of keeping you clean and keeping you comfortable so that when you get to work, you're just taking off your jacket, taking off your pants, and you're ready to go to work. No need to change any clothing. One of the best additions you can make to your bike for winter commuting is studded tires. They give you the added confidence to ride straight across frozen puddles. You, when you hit the black ice at the intersections, you're way more likely to stay right side up and they just give you the confidence so you'll actually ride to work. Studded tires, although not free and not cheap, are a huge game changer for riding to work. Hope to see you in more videos coming soon at Wild Rock.